With 13 of this season's PJ Tour winners still in their 20s, the recent Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass was filled with golf's next generation. One of those up-and-coming stars is Australia's Cameron Smith, who booked his berth in the field with a win at the Zurich Classic in New Orleans. Playing alongside Swede Jonas Blixt in the two-man team event, Smith birded the fourth playoff hole to clinch a life-changing win. Still really hasn't sunk in yet. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of... Uh, a lot of phone calls to make to home, family and friends, so it's been a little bit hectic. In the last 30 years, only two Australians have won a PGA Tour event before turning 24. They happen to be former world number ones and major champions Jason Day and Adam Scott. Not bad company for a kid from Queensland who is playing in just his second full season in the big time. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Um, hopefully I can uh, keep going and follow in their footsteps. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't think it would happen this quick. Uh, no, but I've done. I've, I've worked hard, and um, it's all it's all coming to me. Smith had to wait until Monday morning to get his hands on the trophy, with poor weather delaying proceedings. He and Blix looked set for victory at the end of regulation on Sunday evening, before Kevin Kisner chipped in for eagle on the last to complete a final round best ball score of 60 with teammate Scott Brown. Obviously, I thought that we had it won on the Sunday night there. Um, but uh, Kisner thought otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a very weird vibe on the Monday morning. Uh, you know, not, not too many people there to watch and the atmosphere wasn't quite the same. Um, but to still, uh, to hit the shots under the pump was, you know, to, to practice them and then hit them is completely different. So it was nice. Smith is making a habit of achieving success quickly. His first major was the 2015 US Open at Chambers Bay, where he eagled the last to finish fourth. The win in New Orleans means he's now exempt until the end of the 2019 season. And it's a low-key approach that is paying dividends. I think my first time at uh, Torrey Pines, I was up there with a few of the bigger guys and yeah, I was way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> really not one to you know, expect much of myself, so I, I just take it easy every week and, you know, try and keep it as relaxed as I can. Um, yeah, and I think, I think that mindset's helped me in the bigger tournaments. Smith has a big summer of golf coming up. He was already exempt into the Open Championship and has now added the PGA Championship to the schedule. Cam also has his eyes on more team glory, hoping he can play his way onto Nick Price's international team for the President's Cup in September. That was one of the goals at the, at the start of the year, was to try and get into that team. Um, hopefully with the, the win a couple of weeks ago, they'll, you know, being a team format as well, hopefully they'll think, think something of that. Smith is the latest success story to come out of Australian golf's hugely successful development programs. Minji Lee won three times on the LPGA Tour before turning 21, and newly minted professional Curtis Luck won both the US Amateur and the Asia Pacific Amateur in 2016, on his way to becoming the number one player on the World Amateur Golf Rankings. The high performance program that they got in, in Golf Australia now is um, you know, one of the best in the world, and you know there's, there's just so many young guys that are 16, 17, 18 that are going to come through and be really good. So. Yeah, Australia will be in good hands for a long time, I think.